good evening everyone let's start today's session we will go in order of raised hands kirti you can start audible or visible now yeah you are audible and visible so good evening to all my name is kirti i'm from cloud computing department and today my presentation is on cloud computing architecture so let's start uh, today is and all to know about uh, what is cloud computing why cloud computing how cloud computing works type of clouds cloud computing service models cloud computing architecture and security risk of cloud computing and last is conclusion so let's start with what is cloud computing so basically cloud computing is on demand service and uh, it is a uh, basically it is a technology that use a remote server on the internet to store man, uh, to store manage and access data online uh, rather than local drive the data can be anything such as file folder document audio video more and more so it is cloud computing and uh, move to our next slide so why cloud computing uh, basically uh, small as well as uh, large it companies uh, follow the traditional method to provide uh, the it infrastructure that means uh, for any it company we need a server room that is the basic need of it companies and in the server room uh, there should be a database server mail server router networking and a high net, high net speed and a maintenance engineer so uh, to establish its it infrastructure we need to spend lots of money to overcome all uh, all these problem to reduce the it infrastructure cost cloud computing comes into existence move to our next slide uh, how does cloud computing work so um, i want to tell you with the help of an example uh, assume uh, that you are an executive at a big corporation Uh, your particular responsibility include to make sure that all of uh, all of your employee have the right hardware and right software uh, they need to do their job to buy computer for everyone is not enough uh, you you also have to purchase software as well as software license and then provide this software to your employee as they require whenever uh, you hire a new employee you need to buy more software or uh, make sure your current software license allow another user so it is very stressful and uh, that you have to spend lots of money uh, but there may be uh, but uh, so instead of installing a software for each computer you just need to load an one application uh, th uh, that one application will allow the employee to log into a web based service uh, which host all the program and for the each and every for the required of his her jobs a remote server owned by the another company and that will be uh, everything from email to word processing to complex data analysis program so it is called cloud computing and uh, uh, cloud changed the entire comp uh, computer industry so <clears throat> and uh, uh, how does cloud computing work Uh, in this uh, in uh, cloud computing system uh, there is a significant workload shift uh, local computer have no longer to all the heavy lifting when it come in run application but cloud computing can handle that much heavy load easily aut and automatically so move to our next slide tap of cloud so there are three clouds public private and hybrid so public cloud uh, public cloud is open to all to store and access information uh, through the internet uh, using the paper uses method and uh, private cloud private cloud is also known as internal cloud or corporate cloud it is used by the organization to uh, to build and manage their own data center and uh, internally by the third party and it can be deployed using open source tools such as open stack 
एंड हाइब्रिड हाइब्रिड क्लाउड इज कॉम्बिनेशन बोथ पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट एंड हाइब्रिड क्लाउड इज पार्ट तो हाइब्रिड क्लाउड हाइब्रिड क्लाउड इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन बोथ प्राइवेट एंड पब्लिक एंड इट इज पार्टिशियली सिक्योर बिकॉज द सर्विस विच आर रनिंग ऑन द पब्लिक क्लाउड कैन बी एक्सेस बाय एनी वन एंड वाइल द सर्विस विच आर रनिंग ऑन अ प्राइवेट क्लाउड कैन बी एक्सेस ओनली बाय द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज सो दीज आर द क्लाउड ऑफ टाइप ऑफ क्लाउड पब्लिक प्राइवेट एंड हाइब्रिड सो मूव टू आवर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड क्लाउड सर्विस मॉडल Uh, infrastructure as a service platform as a service software as a service so first is infrastructure as a service so infrastructure service uh, infrastructure as a service is or uh, is also known as hardware as a service it is a computing infrastructure uh, managed over the internet uh, the main advantages of using infrastructure as a service is that it help to users avoid of uh, cost and complexity of purchasing and managing the physical servers <coughs> and platform as a service platform as a service is uh, created for the programmers to develop test run and uh, manage the application and software as a service software is uh, software as a service is also known as on demand software uh, it is a software in which the application are hosted by uh, by a cloud service provider and user can access these application with the help of internet connection and web browser and uh, software as a service uh, provide many service like uh, business service document management mail service and social networks so these are the cloud service models so move to our next slide cloud computing architecture um, as we know cloud computing technology is used by both uh, small and large organization too uh, uh, so to store the information in cloud and access it from anywhere at any time using the internet connection and cloud computing architecture is combination of service oriented architecture and even event driven uh, architecture and uh, cloud computing architecture is divided into two part front end front end and back end so front end in uh, front end uh, front end used by the client and it contain client side interface and application that are required to access the a uh, cloud computing platform and the front end include web servers uh, including chrome uh, firefox internet explorer etc and um, uh, it's used for uh, clients tablets and mobile devices so it's all about uh, front end and the next thing is back end back end uh, the back end is used by the service provider uh, it manages all the resources that are required to provide cloud computing service and it include a huge amount of data storage and security mechanism uh, virtual machines uh, deploying model servers and traffic control mechanisms etc so uh, it's all about a uh, cloud computing architecture so move to our next security risk of cloud computing so what are the security risk of uh, cloud computing um, data loss data breach vendor lock in increase complexity strains it staff so data loss data loss is the is the most common cloud security risk of cloud computing and it is also known as data leak uh, data loss is the process in which uh, data is being deleted corrupted and um, unreadable by a user uh software or application in cloud computing environment data loss occur when when our sensitive data is somebody else hand and one one or more data element can be cannot be utilized by the data owner hard disk is not working properly and software is not updated so that's all uh, that's all about data loss and data breach data breach is the process in which in which uh, confidently data is viewed and access and uh, and the stolen by the third party uh, without any um, with, uh, without any authorization so organization data is hacked uh, by the hackers and uh, vendor lock in vendor lock in uh, vendor lock is in is the biggest security risk in cloud computing and organization may face problem when uh, transferring their service from one vendor to another and as different uh, different vendor provide different platform that can cause uh, uh, difficultly move one cloud to another and increase complexity staff i strains it staff and um, 
ਇਨ ਮਾਈਗ੍ਰੇਟਿੰਗ ਇੰਟੀਗ੍ਰੇਟਿਡ ਆਪਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਦਾ ਕਲਾਊਡ ਸਰਵਿਸਿਸ ਕੰਪਲੈਕਸ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਆਈਟੀ ਸਟਾਫ ਆਈਟੀ ਸਟਾਫ ਮਸਟ ਰਿਕੁਆਇਰ ਦ ਐਕਸਟਰਾ ਕੈਪੇਬਿਲਿਟੀ ਐਂਡ ਸਕਿਲਸ ਟੂ ਮੈਨੇਜ ਦ ਟੂ ਮੈਨੇਜ ਐਂਡ ਇੰਟੀਗ੍ਰੇਟਿਡ ਦ ਮੈਂ ਦ ਮੈਂਟੇਨ ਦ ਡਾਟਾ ਟੂ ਦ ਕਲਾਊਡ ਸੋ ਥੈਟਸ 올 ਅਬਾਊਟ ਸਿਕਿਉਰਿਟੀ ਰਿਸਕ ਆਫ ਕਲਾਊਡ ਕੰਪਿਊਟਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਕਮ ਟੂ ਦ ਕਨਕਲੂਜਨ ਪਾਰਟ ਕਲਾਊਡ ਕੰਪਿਊਟਿੰਗ ਵਿਲ ਅਫੈਕਟ ਲਾਰਜ ਆਫ ਲਾਰਜ ਪਾਰਟ of computer industry including software companies internet service provider cloud computing may uh, make to end user without worrying about hardware configuration and other requirement of servers the cloud computing and virtualization are uh, discussed control integration management and maintenance uh, of the virtual environment are out uh, outsources to an automated layer that is uh, that is called as an api and other management servers for the cloud management um, if you have any question please ask if you have any query please mail me and thank you for thank you ma'am i have done my ppt ਪੀ ਕੀ ਤੋ ਡਨ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰੈਸਡ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਫਰਮ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੀਅਸ ਪ੍ਰੈਜੈਂਟੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਇਨਕਲੂਡਡ ਮੋਰ ਆਫ ਯੋਰ ਕੰਟੈਂਟ ਐਸ ਕੰਪੇਅਰ ਟੂ ਓਨਲੀ ਡਾਟਾ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰੈਸਡ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਓਕੇ ਓਕੇ ਸੋ ਆਈ ਵਿਲ ਗਿਵ ਯੂਰ ਫੀਡਬੈਕ ਓਨ ਯੂਰ ਮੇਲ ਓਕੇ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸਟਾਪ ਸ਼ੇਅਰਿੰਗ ਓਕੇ ਪ੍ਰਤੀ ਬੰਬਾ you can start <clears throat> good evening ma'am am i audible and visible yeah you are okay. so good evening everyone I am Pratibhimba DH and I am an intern at Hackweda and UI department. Today I am here to present my presentation on the topic stock market trading application. Before going to the main agenda that is the stock market trading application, we will just go through the uh, say, principles of UI design which help us to know how UI design helps us to create a, uh, create a beautiful way for a stock market trading application. So uh, here we can principle. Excuse me. the principles of the ui design the principles of the ui design contains the consistency coherence simplicity and clarity visibility affordance speed pattern responsive response means in here consistency and coherence are the uh, most important element for the uh, for the great ui design because it creates a clear visual interface for the user and simplicity and clarity which makes minimal and easy to use for the user and visibility and affordance it makes the efficient for the user and feedback and responsiveness is very important for any interface to get the feedback from the user and next we have a ui elements which should be considered while we creating the ui that's the color and uh, uh, typography color and typography are very important because the visualization of a ui design is very important during uh, active user it uh, it uh, it appeals the user to use it and Uh, it helps the user to involve in it and the second one is the layout and spacing layout and spacing is considered with the balance and the content in the priorities and the next is the navig navigation and interactivity navigation and interactivity consider the how the device it interacts and it should be interactive with all the devices like laptop desktop and cell phones and etc and here we have some examples we can take some examples for mobile phones uh so for some interfaces like mobile phones we have a example like instagram here it is a very easy to use and simple appealing design which makes the user to use it more uh, uh, more efficiently and next for a web page we have a ca canva which is a application to create a template it has a beautiful template which makes a user which appeals a user to use it and next we have the apple it is a beautiful in uh, beautiful uh, it has a very beautiful typography and a smooth animation effect which gives the luxuriousness for the user experience 
and the next the be best practice to implement the user designs are like conducting a user research techniques interactive designing process collaborative and interactive disciplinary approaches and now we'll go for our main agenda that is the uh, overview of the stock market application overview of the stock market application we can see that there are three types of applications that is mobile trading apps web based trading platforms desktop trading app software uh, mobile trading app apps are the applications which you which are user friendly and which are used in mobiles and web based trading platforms are the web browsers with a rich future and desktop softwares are the powerful soft softwares which is used for the trading purpose with the more customization and chart options and some features of the market trading applications are their real time market data and the news here in the web application uh, in um, so sorry excuse me uh, in st stock market trading application we can get the real time market data and the news about the stock which we are uh, taking or we are selling order placement and execution it is the most important thing for the stock market trading application because here we will purchase our stock based on its uh, charts and uh, uh, and other uh, properties of it and its execution should be very smooth and portfolio management portfolio management it includes the investment portfolios and next technical analysis and charting these technical analysis and charting contains the analytic analytical tools and te techniques that will we can see how the chart is going and we identify the trends in it and the risk management alert risk management alert is very important while we are trading on a stock market trading application it helps us to analyze the risk on your portfolio and next we have the benefits of using stock market trading application it is convenient sorry to stop in between but only second slide is visible sorry ma'am is it visible now ma'am yeah it's which slide you are on uh i am on my eighth slide ma'am yeah it's visible now okay ma'am may i continue like this sister yeah sure no problem uh, okay and the last uh, last point uh, last point here is the risk management and alerts the risk management and alerts are very important during the stock market trading trading because it helps us to study the portfolio while we are uh, purchasing uh, or ordering the placement for it and the benefits of stock market trading application is convenience and accessibility uh, access to the wide range of investment enhanced decision making and outro the data analysis what are the here and the challenges which we should consider during the, uh, the stock market trading application is security and data protection which is very important for a stock market trading application where which we have the personal and financial data we should secure it technical issue and system reliability we should avoid the interruption of technical interruption and technical glitches learning curve and user experience user experience should be very easy and user convenient while we are using the stock market trading application and at the last we'll go how the user interface will help or uh, what is the major role of the user interface in in developing a beautiful user interface for the stock market trading application that is importance of ui design in stock market trading application it gives a uh, best user experience it increases the data visualization it increases the efficiency and it gives the trust and confidence for the users and next we have key elements for the effective ui design that should be have the clear navigation it should have main consistency responsive design and data presentation and the next is best practice for ui design in stock market application the best practice is we should keep, keep it simplify that user can understand it easily it should be customizable that user can customize as like as the user can uh, use it very easily and it he can customize his ui as he want and next is the real time uses and next we have some example case over here here i mean first is the trade master a trade master is a, a trading platform which is a which is used in a web and which is a, a very great platform which has the beautiful user interface and a trade express is a platform which is used in a mobile app which is very secure and high and the, that's all about my presentation thank you ma'am so you are done yes ma'am thank you
So first of all, try to have a Q and A slide and a reference slide as well. Okay. Okay. And make your presentation on your full screen. Okay. Thank okay. You. Sorry other for that. Than, okay. Other than that, your presentation was up to the point, and communication skills are also nice of yours. Okay. So I've done a great work. Thank you, ma'am. But I have a really good feedback on your email. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Soumya. Yes, ma'am. You can start. So, good evening, everyone. I'm Soumya Bhardwaj from Web Development Domain. So the task that was assigned to me was to give a day trade insight, which is intraday trading for beginners. And I'm excited to take you on a journey into the captivating world of intraday trading, tailored especially for those who are just starting out. So now imagine this. It's a regular morning and you are sitting in your balcony drinking your cup of coffee. Now, within just a few minutes, you manage to pocket some extra cash, all from those Cosiness of your own home. It's almost like a financial adventure that unfolds daily. Interesting, right? Well, this is what we call intraday trading or day trading. So now let's break it down into a real life example to understand it better. Say you wake up in the morning and decide to trade stocks. You buy 100 shares of a company at $50 per share. As the morning turns into afternoon, the stock price is shares to $55 per share. Now you make the smart call to share all these 100 shares. Now, just like that, you earn $5 per share, adding up to a profit of $500. Now, what's the best part? All of this happened within the same day of trading day. This is the magic of intraday trading. Now, to understand, it better let's dive into the content we have introduction advantages risk involved tools required strategies capital requirement risk management common mistakes rules of technical analysis recommended resources references and the conclusion of intraday trading now coming to the introduction let's understand what is intraday trading and why intraday trading for beginners so first we have, what is intraday trading? Now it involves buying and selling of financial assets like stocks, currencies, or commodities within the same day trading. Suppose you want to try intraday trading in the stock market in India. You buy 100 shares of a company from, let's say XYZ at $100 per share at the beginning of the trading day. Now, during the day, you watch the stock's prices and it raises to 110 and you sell your shares. So this entire process, buying and selling within the same day, is what defines intraday trading. The second point is the goal of trading is to profit from short-term price fluctuations. Now imagine you are trading currency in the forex market. You notice that the exchange rate of an Indian rupee to US dollar is currently at 83 rupees for one USD dollar. You buy rupees and few hours later, the exchange rate increases to 85 rupees for one USD dollar. You sell your rupees to make a profit. In this case, you are profiting from short-term price change to currency price. The next point is intraday traders do not hold position overnight. They close all their trades by the end of the trading day. Uh, like suppose you are trading silver features in commodity market in India. You buy a contract for silver at 5,000 per kilogram in the morning. Now by the end of the trading day, the price has risen to 500, 200 rupees per kilogram. Now instead of keeping the contract overnight, which might expose you to market risk, you sell it for the trading day closes to lock your profit. Now, the next point is, it requires close monitoring of market and decision making. Say you are 
day trading and the stock of an Indian technology company. You are constantly watching the stocks price on your computer or mobile app. Now suddenly there is a breaking news about the company's latest launch product. The stock price starts to go up and down. Now you whether to buy or sell quickly to capitalize on the price movement. In trading, intraday trading, uh, quick decision making is crucial because market condition can change rapidly. So these illustrates how intraday trading works with Indian rupees and highlights the need for active monitoring and quick decision making. Now let's understand why intraday trading for beginners. So we have basically four main points here, lower overnight risk, quick learning opportunity, lower capital requirement, and opportunity for regular profit. Now for lower overnight risk, intraday trading is like trading with a safety net. You see the uh, clear of the risk that come from holding on to our investment overnight. So to understand this, you buy a stock and decide to hold it overnight. Then some unfortunate news hits. And by the time you wake up, the stock prices has taken a massive change. Now, that will be the saddest thing for traders. However, you can dodge this risk by exiting their position before the day ends. That, that way, you can sleep soundlessly knowing that you won't wake up in an unpleasant surprise. Now, for quick learning opportunity, intraday traders is like fast forward button for learners. It's an excellent way for beginners to grasp the ins and outs of the market and trading strategy. Now, here's the deal. As the intraday traders, your decision and their result are almost immediate. You can see the outcomes of your trades within the same day. This quick feedback allows you to learn from both your success and your mistakes in recorded time. It's like a crash, crash course in trading, but without the crashes. Now, lower capital investment. Intraday traders is like the everyone invited party. It doesn't need a lot of money to get started. So, if you have uh, 10,000 rupees and you are ready to go, intraday traders make it possible for beginners to dive into the market without having to put down a sustainable amount of money up front. It's like try before you buy a trading world. Now, opportunity for regular profits, intraday traders is like having your own profit machines. It offers you the chance. It offers you the chance to uh, make money daily, which can be incredibly motivating for business. Like a successful intraday traders can earn you thousand rupees in a single day. It's like like getting a regular paycheck from your trading efforts and. Who wouldn't want that? Everyone would want to earn some money on their daily basis. Then coming to the advantages, let's learn more about the advantages of intraday trading. Here we have quick profit potential. Now, intraday traders offers a thrilling opportunity to earn money quickly. You can buy and sell assets within the same day and profit from even small price amount. For instance, you might purchase 100 shares of a stock market at 100 rupees each in the morning and sell them at 105 rupees each by the afternoon, resulting a 500 rupees profit within the same day. Now, there's also no overnight risk. Intraday traders avoid the risk that come with holding position overnight. If you hold a stock overnight and the company reports disappointing earnings, and after the market closes, the stock price might change the next day. So the intraday traders exit their position before such events can impact them. This way they can uh, be at a safe position. So short-term market opportunities involves are like skilled at uh, making the most short-term prices fluctuation, allowing them to react quickly to market changes by involving uh, buying and selling currency pairs such as uh, within single day traders or intraday traders can profit from price movements that may only last for few hours. Then we have reduced capital commitment. It also usually requires less initial capital that long-term investment 
which makes it accessible for beginners. You can start intraday traders with relatively small amount of capital, such as 10,000 rupees, enabling new traders to participate in the market without a significant upfront investment. Then for active learning experience, intraday traders provide a dynamic and real-time learning environment. As an intraday trader, you can see the result of your trade it's within the same day. Now, this immediate feedback accelerates your understanding of market dynamics and trading strategies. So then again comes the risk, which is also a crucial part for intraday traders. Let's dive into it. First, we have price quality. Intraday traders involves quick decision making and prices can change rapidly, leading to potential losses. Now, let's say you buy a stock at 100 rupees, but within minutes it drops to 95 rupees, resulting in a 500 rupees loss if you don't exit in the trade in the uh, right time. Intraday traders uh, can sometimes be very difficult to manipulate or sudden price types. Uh, so a group of traders might collide at the artificial inflate that price of stock, leading others to buy an artificial high price before the stock crashes. Uh, then emotional decision making. So intraday traders can be an emotional roller coaster. When the market is going wild, you might react emotionally and make snap decisions. For example, you might see a potential loss looming and decide to get out of the trade soon. Then frustratingly, the market moves in your favor shortly after. So the emotional decisions can cloud your judgment and lead to losses. So make sure to manage your emotional. Then we have lack of information. Intraday traders often work with limited information. It's like trying to complete a puzzle with missing pieces. They may not have all the important news or updated in real time. This can lead to news it's already too late. And the stock value has dropped. Now, coming to the tools, we have reliable internet connection. Now, uh, think of connection uh, as the road to the market. It's like nature car for a long journey. Now, in internet, you might need a strong and internet connection. This is because you have to make quick decision based on what's happening in the market right now. And a stable and speedy internet connection is like having a well maintained car. It ensures you to get market updates without any delays. If your internet is slow and unreliable, you might miss an opportunity or face losses. Then trading account with a brokerage firm. Now imagine you are having trading account as your wallet for the market. You need this special account to enter the world of trading. Now it's like having a pass to the amusement park. You use it to manage your money, make trades and access all the pool rights including print platforms. It's super important to choose a trustworthy brokerage firm. They provide the tools and features you need for intraday trading. Just like uh, you need money in your wallet, you will also need to put some money in your trading account and to get it started. Then we have real-time market data. Like uh, imagine you have a magic glass that can let you see what's happening in the market right now. It's like live updates on the prices of stock, currencies, or other assets. Now, traders rely on this data to make decisions about when to buy or sell. So this data is usually provided by brokers or trading software, and it's like having a live demo stream on the market. Now, you can't intraday trading without uh, it because it's like uh, driving with eyes closed. You need to see what's going on in the market all the time to make uh, the right. Now, coming to the strategies of intraday trading, we have scalping, momentum trading, and breakout trading. Now, what is scalping? 
scalping is like catching fireflies in the dark. Uh, so traders using the strategies uh, makes a lot of tiny trades during the trading day. They are not uh, aiming for big wins. Instead, they are trying to catch small price movements and make it big of profit uh, in every day. Now, scalpers are also like in good in quick in, quick out trading. Now, they might buy a currency pair which want to go up just a tiny bit and then sell it when sell it uh, goes up a bit more. Now, it's like making small gains from those speedy little jumps in prices. Now, what is momentum trading? Uh, think of momentum trading as going with the flow. These traders focus on hopping the movement of train. When they see prices go up, they join the party and buy. Uh, but when prices start going down, they hop down and sell. It's all about riding the trend. For example, if a stock has been going up and up, a momentum trader would jump in, expecting the uptrend will continue for a while. Then what is breakout trading? Now, breakout trading is like chasing a breaking news story. Uh, traders using this strategy jump into action when they see a price breaking to a significant level. It's like uh, seeing a dam burst and they want to catch the flood. Now, for example, if a stock has been bouncing between uh, 100 rupees and 110 for a while and suddenly it shorts up to 115 rupees, uh, which breakout traders step in uh, and uh, they make a quick call and uh, take it uh, as the advantage. It's all about capturing those big moments and the, with the sudden moves. Then we have capital requirements for intraday trading in which we have capital requirement varies. Now the amount of money you need for intraday trading isn't the same for everyone. It's like clothes sizing, one size doesn't fit all. It depends on what you are trading like stocks or currencies and how much risk you are comfortable with and you how you like to trade. So some people start with a small amount while other put in more money, which are very experienced in trading. Then uh, we have recommended minimum. Let's say we have recommended minimum in the intraday trading is $500,000 to 10,000 rupees dollar. <clears throat> while there's no strict rule, it's uh, generally a good idea to have at least $5,000 rupees to start with let's say 10,000 to start with. Now, think of this money as your safety net. It helps you handle potential losses and lets you try different trades. It's like having a big of extra cash in your wallets for unexpected experiences. Now, risk, risk management, no matter how much you money uh, you start with, managing risk is a must for everyone. It's like wearing a helmet while riding a bike. It keeps you safe all the time. So risk management means setting limits on how much you're willing to lose and uh, making sure that the potential reward is worth the risk you are taking. And it's like having a safety net that catches you if at all. When good risk management, you can keep trading even if the things don't go on your way. Then coming to the risk involved in the intraday trading, we have set up stop losses order. Now think of stop loss order as your safety net. They are like setting a limit on how much you are willing to lose. When you buy something, you decide in advance at what price you will sell it if the price goes down. It's like saying, I am not willing to lose more than this amount. For example, if you buy a stock of 100 rupees, and a setup loss order is at 95 rupees. It's like having a safety button. If the stock price falls to 95 rupees, then automatically it's sold. And your limit loss at bill is 5 rupees per share. Then diversifying your portfolio. Diversifying your portfolio is 
not putting all your eggs in one basket uh, instead of investing all your money in a single thing you spread it out uh, it's like having different flavors in ice cream instead of just buying one by putting your money into multiple traders and different assets you reduce the risk of losing everything in one go for instance you have 10000 rupees you might split it into smaller portion and invest in different stock or currencies it's like playing, playing it safe by not beating everything in single course then we have practice discipline trading uh, discipline is like sticking to the plan it's about being organized and not letting your emotions take over just like following the rules of a game in trading you have a plan you decide how much you can risk and you can stick to it discipline means uh, you can't change your mind in the middle of a trade just because of emotions you set clear rules for when you buy and sell and uh, to follow them even it's tempting uh, to do something else it's like being a captain of your ship and steering it where you want it to go no matter where the waves are uh, then we have technical analysis of intraday trading so in this we have analyzing price platform now think of this as you are studying a treasure map technical analysis involves looking at historical prices patterns on charts like finding clues in a treasure map by understanding these patterns intraday traders try to predict where the price might go next for example if they spot a pattern called head and shoulder and it's like a hint that the treasure in this case a potential price trend might change the direction then we have identifying trends now spotting trends like uh, recognizing a friend in a crowd in technical analysis helps traders to see when prices are moving in a particular direction just like uh, recognizing your friend in a crowd identifying a trend is is also essential for making trending decisions when they notice a trend going up traders might start looking for opportunities to buy it then uh, support and resistance level now imagine your support and resistance level is as strong as your wall in the house now support is like solid floor where the price tends to bounce back up and the resistance is like sturdy ceiling where the price often turn down back now these levels are crucial for decision when to enter and when to exit the trading platform now traders just use them like checkpoints they might place orders to buy or sell when the price reaches this level similar to opening or closing the door then indicator and oscillators Uh, think of indicators and oscillators as tool on a dashboard now intraday traders uh, use these tools to check the health of the market engine they help uh, traders understand if things are moving too fast or if moving too slow for example there's a, a thing called relative strength index rsi is like a speed speedometer it shows if an asset is moving too fast or too slow these tools uh, help traders to make decision by giving them information about the market and speed and the direction then we have all the resources recommended now uh, books on intraday trading this is uh, what we call and resources easy for the beginners now think of these books as your intraday trading guides they are like treasure map filled with all the knowledge you want like and uh, the book i have recently seen is a beginners guide to uh, day trading online which they have also provided in the description of the website now uh, that are the great starting point reading these books is like taking lessons from experienced traders they help you understand the basic and learn valuable strategies then online courses online courses like having a uh, personal tutors they are designed to teach you setup by uh, in guiding 
and the platform like Udemy and Coursera offers you a bunch of courses on intraday trading. These courses often include like uh, video lessons, quizzes, and assign assignment. You can learn all it at your own pace, kind of like setting your own study schedule. It's like building a strong foundation in intraday trading at your own convenience. Then we have financial websites. Financial websites are like your daily newspaper for trading. Website like um, Investopedia and DayTradeInsight.com offers articles, tutorials, and real-time market updates. It's like having a library of trading knowledge at your fingertips. You can stay updated and stay informed about the latest technologies and trends strategies and technical analysis similar to staying updated with the latest news you watch daily on your television. Then uh, trading forums and communities. Now think of this as forum and communities as your virtual trading buddies. It's like joining a club where traders meet to chat. Here you can talk to each other, ask questions, share your experience and learn from those who have been at it for a while. They have been working it for a year and you can learn from them by knowing their experience. Now, engaging in discussions and uh, seeking advices is like having a group mentors. They offer practical insight and guides, just like a learning experience friend. Then these are the main references I've used for this presentation. We have a date play insight website and the content like chat GPT to know the more about what is trading as I'm new to this topic. So now if you want to get started uh, to the learning uh, trading, let's say we have this website called daytradeinsight.com. Now, if you want to get started uh, from this website and you want to start trading, head over to the uh, daytradeinsight.com. Here you will have the front page which will have a home and login section. Now, if you are new to this website, uh, you just click on the get started for free and here you will have a form you must fill and then sign up. And if you are a, not a new person, then you can go on the login section and you can log in your account. And these are all the questions they have addressed that which might help you in the beginning. And then this is the main form we have right now. Like it has top options and recommendations. We have this, uh, all the knowledge you might know, want to know for the talks. And to get started for free, you can click on this button. Or if you want uh, any technical information or any issue you might be having, you can click on the technical support and get to join with the technical team and they will assist you with all your queries. Now, this is a very easy platform if you want to get started with intraday trading. So if you want to start head over to the, to the daytradeinsight.com. Now, concluding all this presentation, we have uh, intraday trading is like a roller coaster thrilling, but it's all up and down. It's like it is crucial to understand that you make with profit, but there are also risk involved. Now here we have some points. Before you start, get ready. You need the right tools, money, and knowledge. Now being prepared and managing risk is a big deal, which you cannot just learn overnight. And I think of intraday trading like learning to ride a bike. It's like get, it get better with practice, learning and practicing, it keeps it better. Use resources like books, online website, and trading buddies. They are like your study guides and your support group. Intraday traders can be exciting if you're careful and ready to learn. Now, with some right tools and good risk management and your hard work, you can aim for a fast paced world. Now, if you might have any questions, you can ask. Okay, so thank you, everyone. Thank you for joining. I'm done with my presentation, ma'am.
so may i done yes ma'am okay so great presentation up to the point and everything was nicely explained with examples good job okay you can stop sharing your screen i will give your feedback on your email okay okay ma'am